In Xanadu did Kublai Khan a stately pleasure dome decree, where Alf the sacred river ran through caverns measureless to him, down to a sunless sea. So twice five miles of fertile ground, with walls and towers girdled round, and here were gardens bright with sinuous rills, where blossomed many an incense bearing tree. Here were a forest, ancient as the hills, unfolding sunny spots of green. But oh, that deep romantic castle, which slanted down the green hill for to see and cover. It was a savage place, as holy and enchanted as ear beneath the waning moon was haunted by a woman wailing for her demon lover. And from this chasm, with ceaseless turmoil seething, as if this earth in fast quick pants was breathing, a mighty fountain momently was forced, amid whose half intermittent bursts huge fragments vaulted like rebounding hail or chaffy grain neath the flesher's flail. And mid these dancing rocks, and once and ever, it flung up momently the sacred river. Five miles meandering with mazy motion, through wood and dale the sacred river ran, then reached the caverns measureless to and sank in tumult to a lifeless ocean. And mid this tumult, Kubla heard from far ancestral voices prophesying war. The shadow of the dome of pleasure floated midway upon the waves. I was heard the mingled measure of the fountains and caves. It was a miracle, a rare device, a sunny pleasure dome with caves of ice, a damsel with a dulcimer in a vision I once saw. It was an Abyssinian maid, and on her dulcimer she played, singing of Mount Abora. Could I revive within me? Her symphony and song to such deep delight would win me that with music loud and long I would build that sunny dome, those caves of ice, and all who heard should see them there, and all should cry, Beware, beware, his flashing eyes, his floating hair. Weave a circle around him thrice, and close your eyes with holy dread. For he on honeydew hath fed, and drunk the milk of paradise.